Hey guys, so it's Steam here with an overview on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now I've done a couple of videos talking about this in the past, however there's been some new things that have come up in the past couple days that I definitely want to share with you guys. So the first of which is some disappointing news. The iPod Touch 5th generation is largely going to be unchanged from the current 4th generation model we have today. So previously, I as well as many other people expected that it would be a full redesign, just like the iPhone 5 every year, the iPod Touch and the iPhone you know, they get the new processors, they get the new screens, this, that, this, that. However, this year it's going to be an exception as the iPod Touch 5th generation is going to be pretty much the exact same. Now, there will be a couple of changes. You will be able to pick it up in white as well as black. I uh, know this doesn't really surprise me too much, of course, with the black and white iPhone 4 as well as the iPad 2. You know, it seems pretty obvious that Apple is going to go ahead and roll this out to the rest of their iOS line. Uh, and there also will probably be a couple of smaller things, for example, a new screen coating that helps keep fingerprints off. But by and large, it's going to be the exact same iPod as we have today. Now, there are three reasons why I say this. The first of which is a report that came out of Mac Rumors this morning, which basically detailed exactly what I just said, that you'll be able to pick it up in black and white, it may have a couple of small minor changes, however it will be, by and large, the iPod Touch 4th generation, just roll over for another year. Now the second is just the overall timing of it, and the leaks and rumors and all that kind of stuff. Now if you guys have followed Apple stuff, you always know that no matter what, you're going to see leaks and rumors, parts, this, that, buzz, all that kind of stuff. And there really has not been a lot of talk about the next generation iPod Touch. Of course, we have seen a couple of times where it was leaked in white, uh, but beyond that, we haven't really heard of any new redesigns like we have on the iPhone 5. Now, the last and most important key to why I believe this is real is based on a source of mine who has deep level access into the iOS 5 code. If you guys are not familiar with the way the iOS betas work, when you go in, you can actually take a look and see like iPod 3.1 or et cetera, et cetera. It shows you what the new iPods and iPhones and iPads are going to be inside the firmware. Uh, now, while my source did say that they, there are two new iPhones as well as a new Apple TV, there is no word whatsoever about a new iPod Touch. Now, this makes sense because if the iPod Touch 5th generation is the exact same as the iPod Touch 4th generation internally, as in, you know, the specs, the hardware, all that kind of stuff is going to be the same, then there's no reason why it would be listed in the iOS 5 beta. So while it looks like the iPod Touch is going to have a minor update this year, this is not going to be the entire story. It seems very likely that there will be a new cheaper version of the iPhone, perhaps dubbed the iPhone 4S, which will be similar to the iPhone 4 that we have currently. However, it's going to be much cheaper, probably something more like three to $400 off contract, which is not all that much more expensive than an iPod Touch. So if you guys are really interested in getting something that's, you know, like an iPod, iPod or an iPhone, but you don't want to pay the full price of something like the iPhone 5, that very well might be the best bet for you. Anyway guys, that's going to be about it. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word, let everyone know about what's going to be happening with the iPod Touch 5th generation. And if you guys are interested in more videos about iPhones, iPods, and all that kind of good stuff, definitely be sure to subscribe.